Hello, everyone. Welcome to another session on Python for data science. So previously, what we discussed were mainly functions, right? So basically, what are functions? Why are functions used? Uh, various built-in functions in Python. Uh, then how do you write a user-defined function? How do you call a user-defined function? Uh, then we also discussed common one-line functions, like one-line functions commonly called as lambda functions, right? Uh, so today what we'll discuss is sort of an extension of that idea uh, Today basically what we'll discuss is exception handling Okay, so exception handling in Python. So basically how Python handles the exception and all of that So what basically what is an exception? the basic idea of ex exception is Something which is either you have done some sort of error either a syntax error, it could be a syntax error or code error, right? So any sort of error. So when, whenever, uh, so you, uh, suppose you write a Python program, right? you, 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 you have a Python script or you have a Python code and you execute it. So whenever the compiler com comes across any of any one of these errors, it basically stops the program execution, okay? So that, that's what the basic idea uh, of exception is. That's what the basic idea is. Now, in Python, you have a variety of handling mechanisms. Uh, what do you mean by that? Basically, is suppose say error happens, right? So after that, what? All right. So uh, ideally, you you ideally you would not ideally you would not want any errors to happen while the program is running, while it is in execution phase. But uh, there could be certain cases while during testing or initial writing program, initial uh, stages of code. It, so there could be certain errors. So uh, basically what Python gives you is Python gives you a set of uh, exception handling mechanisms, right? So wherein basically you are able to catch the error. Now basically what you do after you catch the error is basically up to the person who's writing the code. But basically what Python gives you is a set of uh, exception handling mechanisms, which will help you catch the error. Now, basically, what we'll do in this video is we'll, we'll look at different types of errors, okay. and uh, and the exception handling mechanism, which uh, I just talked about. Okay. Uh, so Python, by again, very similar to your functions. Python has many built-in exceptions, but if you actually want to catch maybe a certain specific exception or very new exception, you need to basically write your own. You, you 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 can easily write your own exception as well. That's also possible. So coming type coming to the the errors in Python. So basically again, two types of errors. One obviously is a syntax error. Uh, what basically the syntax error is you, as the name suggests, you have a problem with the syntax. Right? The other one is errors encountered at runtime. Uh, so it could be. Uh, it, 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 it could be basically some sort of logical error or it could be some sort of uh, any sort of error. So this error basically comes at runtime. So runtime basically means you are executing the Python code. Right? So coming to, so we'll, we'll go one by one. Uh, what are syntax errors? One very common, uh, uh, this thing is uh, suppose uh, you create a, so you basically do not follow the proper syntax. So suppose you create a list, right? Say so suppose you create a list for my list, and this is your list. So now you are basically iterating over this list. So in so the syntax for for loop is you basically write for uh, iterable in iterator. Uh, so you basically end it with a colon, okay? Uh, colon. So then you sort of print it. I you get the print output. Now say suppose suppose you you forget to add uh, this. What you basically end up with is the syntax error. Now basically how uh, I think I would uh, let's talk let's discuss a bit more about this output as well. So usually how Python gives you the output is one it will tell you the type of error which is uh, syntax error name error uh, whatever whatever the type to give you the type of the error. Also, uh, it will also give you the line numbers. It will also give you the specific line number uh, where uh, this particular error has occurred. Right? In this particular case, since you have only a couple of line numbers, so you can easily get it. But so they suppose you are writing a thousand lines code, right? So you have a script which is, you have a file which is around thousand lines and you end up basically 
error in some portion. Uh, so this will particularly, very particularly be helpful. Okay, so th this is a syntax error. Syntax error is very easy to, very easy to figure out. Right? It, it also gives you the line number, straight for, so these errors are straightforward. Uh, basically you would have either missed it due to some particular, due, due, due to small reason. So these errors are not complex, easy to fix it. Right, so the next one is errors which basically occurs at runtime. Uh, so basically, yeah, basically what happens is, so during during runtime, uh, it basically there is an error, right? So Python, uh, it raises an exception, right? So what happens, so basically what happens in this exception raising this thing is, it basically creates something which is called as exception object. It basically creates an exception object. So if the particular program uh, has no exception handling mechanism, it immediately stops execution. So we'll we'll look at uh, common types of errors. Right? Uh, so there's something which is called as arithmetic error. So what basically what basically are arithmetic error is? Say suppose you're trying to find you you're basically running an arithmetic operation, and you're basically exceeding the limit of the variable type. Uh, this is I think you would have very commonly come across. Overflow errors. So overflow errors come under uh, a type of overflow error, but we are basically looking at arithmetic errors. So arithmetic errors is, is the sort of the base class, uh, base class for all arithmetic exceptions which are raised. So commonly called uh, arithmetic exceptions are overflow error, then you have zero division error, floating point error. Right. So just to give you an example, so th this is sort of the arithmetic error. Uh, so this is sort of the base class then you have overflow error zero division error floating point error and all of that uh, so let me just walk it through an overflow error exam so overflow error is basically every variable type has a limit okay so whenever you overshoot that limit you get this particular type of error so basically uh, I'm just uh, getting i value now I'm basically looping over each of these values. So you say for i in uh, range of 100. For i, so I'm basically looping over for i in the range of 100. Now basically what I do, I obviously, uh, let's say I print out both of them. I print out i and I print out f. Now basically what happens now is f is equal to f uh, double star of 2. Whatever be the i value. I just uh, square it up. I think when you run this, you get output. But what happens, you see, is overflow error. You basically get a result which is too large. Uh, so this is this basically is what is called as an uh, overflow error. Uh, next is something which is called as assertion error. Uh, assertion error basically uh, is due to unfailed assert statement. Okay. So what basically is an assert statement or one you're just checking. It's, it's sort of an assertion, you're just checking if it's true. Okay. So just to give you an example of assertion error, uh, say you, you have two, two variables, you have a variable A and you have, you have a variable B. Now, if it's true, right, if it's true, it'll continue with the program execution. So if it's not, your assertion, your assert statement will basically give you an error message as well, which you can you can input. So in this particular case, you have assertion error. Now, say if uh, these values are true, it, it, it is, the output is just true. It continues with the next to the program execution. No issues there. But if we actually have a sort of a different value, it immediately throws an assertion error. So next common type of error is something is called as import error. So what basically an import error is, so you generally use import statements in Python. So basically how Python is structured is, so you basically have your base Python, which contains few built-in functions. Now say suppose you want some additional functionality in your program. Uh, so you would either, obviously you could write your own code, or if there are already built-in libraries, built-in packages, you can just, uh, you can just as well just, download you can just as well uh, get the library so how do you uh, so now now we have the library now how do you get these functions get these ob get these classes into the python workspaces you basically use an import statement import so and so says import say i'm i'm importing pandas right i'm importing pandas file 
when i do this i basically get all the basically i'm importing the pandas library so import error when is import error is raised is whenever you do not you basically try to import something which is not there no module for rem because rem is not there uh, so next type of error is something is called as index error index error again it's that particular index is not there in whatever object you're trying to look at again uh, we are basically trying to let me just stick with list now One, two, three four so now say suppose you're trying to get an object which is index seven obviously so there's no object right it basically uh, gives you list index out of range so the next one next one is something just called as key error uh, key error is commonly key error occurs in the dictionary because you have the you have a key and a value over there so what basically is a key error is um, you're basically trying to get the value from a particular key if that particular key is not there it throws an error it's a key error right so this is one more type of error key error so the next type of error is something which is called as name error so name error is basically um, whatever whatever name you're referring to right it could be either a code or it could be a function right so if it does not exist in the namespace so namespace could be a local namespace or it could be a global namespace but in general if that particular function or variable or uh, does not exist it basically throws a name error just to give an example i think my function uh, right so this particular function is not defined so when i try to run this i immediately end up with a name error because this fun particular function is not defined so next one is something just called as a type error uh, so what basically a type error is uh, when you try to uh, say add two numbers one is a string and another is a number it immediately throws a type error right. type exception type error next is something is called as value error uh, so what what basically is a value error is uh, so whenever a function receives a value uh, that has a right type but has an invalid value right so one uh, common example so one one example could be you're just trying to print you're basically trying to get an into a string converted to an int value so the this things are correct uh, the type is correct to print the syntax everything is right but uh, you're basically trying to get uh, you're giving a wrong value so in, input to a int function should always be a number but if you if you pass a string you basically end, end up into a value error and th so these are sort of uh, the common exceptions which are available in python obviously this is not exhaustive uh, this is, there is again a whole lot of other exceptions available the best place to learn is either uh, go to the documentation which is fairly detailed or run a google search you should be able to get it so th this is exception now the next part is say you've got this exception you have got the exception object created right how do you handle it so that's what we'll look at now so we'll basically look at a common exception handling mechanisms seen available in python so the commonly used one is something just called as try and accept okay so so you basically the syntax is you basically have a try block uh, you basically write your code so this basic this is the code uh, which you're running right then you you again have a accept block so this is where the error handling happens so the idea the the concept, the concept over here is uh, whatever code you write in the try block right it executes suppose it turns into an exception it, it the code will immediately skip to the accept block so this accept block is sort of your exception handling so suppose you get an error you, you get a value error you get a type error so after it, after you get it, it immediately goes to the exception block accept block so this is where uh, you you handle your exception so let's look at let's look at uh, common let, let's look at few simple examples to just uh, understand it so suppose uh, my total marks is 100 and so again these are just numbers number so the number of sections is 6 and my average is 0 now basically what i'm trying to do is uh, so here i, I have a try block i have written try so what basically happens in try is i'm trying to take uh, average, average of, so average of um, average of 
say it could be total marks by number of sections. I'm just taking uh, total underscore marks divided by now. Okay, so th this is basically in the try block. Now I have a, so I basically have a except. Uh, uh, so I'm just writing very simple. This is. Right, so this is an error message. So, um, okay, so let's say, this is average. So let's say I just print it. Right, so this is my average. Now, nothing has happened over there, that's great. Now say suppose, uh, now say suppose I uh, divide it by average. See, so we can we can just print it as well. Print I. Now I say I send this error. Yeah, man. So errors are fairly. You do not want an error. So I say hi. So it enters hi. It prints average. So see, uh, it, it it does not print the average value because obviously it has hit an exception. Uh, then immediately goes it it immediately goes into the except block. Okay, so this this is this is how it is. This is how it works. Uh, so th this is how the common syntax is. You write a try in the try block. You write a bunch of code. Then you have except. So inside the except block, you this is where you basically take care of your exception. So this is how the common syntax is. So one problem, one problem with this is, uh, so as you can see in the except, except the, the, the this thing is you're not catching any specific exception. Now in general, you're, you're catching any sort of exception, which could be a problem, right? So ideally you would want to know what sort of particular exception you have, you have captured, what is the exception you have. So usually, 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 usually sort of the best practice is, so after except, you sort of, mention you sort of mention what is the exception you're catching so uh, why because only then uh, this only this particular exception gets handled or in certain cases what might happen is you would uh, the the program would, would be working fine but you would not know what exception has happened which would actually be a problem down the line right? so it's, it's always a good sort of good practice to mention uh, to catch only a specific type of exception not any exception. Uh, say uh, over here. So over here, I write. I I, I don't know this thing. So see, it, it gives a syntax error, but it does not go into the except this thing. So now when you run this, uh, now when you run this, except so. Yeah, so syntax, so this is during runtime, so syntax errors, I think uh, you'll be missing it. So next is, what, what do you do uh, when we have multiple, multiple uh, exceptions? So one, one ideal, this thing would be, one ideal, this thing would be you write uh, exceptions in a, in a single this thing. So you can write multiple exceptions. You just put them in a comma and you can run it. So the other option is you write multiple except this thing. So it's like, um, you just you just write a normal try this. Thing. Uh, you basically have something, you're writing your code. Now you can write multiple except statements. Say suppose you're trying to catch a type error. You're supposed to catch a try error, write over here and do some exception handling. So again, you have one more error to be caught. You're basically trying except uh, value error, right? So you have a value error over here and you're running this. Right, so you, you can keep on uh, writing multiple exceptions, so that's not an issue. So the other syntax is, uh, suppose you want to know, uh, you want to know what exception you've captured. Right? Uh, so usually uh, you want to know what exception you captured mainly for logging or in any part any specific reason any particular reason nothing specific as such so suppose you have accept try write the code you want to execute then you have accept 
so you're writing exception now this is where you have captured the exception uh, so if nothing you can just print the error message so before printing maybe you can just do a check if uh, or, or it could be that this particular this thing will not have uh, might not have this attribute then you will end up getting another error so this this would, this would not be the error which you are actually looking for right so you, so you could have something like a dot message so again it depends on uh, so the common the default ones have this attribute but say you have you've written a custom exception then it might not be there you'll end up getting an error again it is not there which you are expecting so this is this is one more uh, this thing if, you, if you're not sure on what error you have so you're just running the program to check if you have any errors this is one more way this one definitely get you so the other the other commonly used syntax is so you basically have a try you're doing something right so then you have a accept if so in, say if you want to raise multiple exceptions and just write exception one exception two, whatever be the exceptions right so you just you got this exception now basically write code uh, write code to handle this right you're basically writing code to handle this exception right so this is so this yeah this is this is this covers most of uh, errors and exception handling in python see you in the next video thank you